In January 2020, Mike Reynolds gave a talk at the Royal Institute of Navigation Small Boat Group Conference on Electronic Navigation. He described his use of OpenCPN to navigate from Australia to the UK, including the use of geo-referenced images from Google Earth in poorly surveyed areas of Asia. He's just one of many who use and trust OpenCPN. OpenCPN has been downloaded tens of thousands of times since its release in 2007, and now has a reputation as a first-class plotter application. Three years ago, inexpensive licensed charts for the UK and Northern Europe were made available, and we began using it for planning and live navigation. It's been great. In 2019, there was a major new release with some significant changes to the user interface. To use OpenCPN, you need some hardware for it to run on. Selecting that and setting it up is a bit DIY and nerdy. I'm going to describe and illustrate what you can use to run OpenCPN, what it might cost, and show it working. To start with, it will be helpful to have a quick summary of the components that constitute a generic chart plotter. First, there is the hardware, enclosures, LCD displays, buttons, and circuit boards with their microcontrollers or microprocessors. Satellite position fixing may be included in the hardware, or it may be from an external receiver. But fixes could be taken from dead reckoning and entered into the plotter manually. Useful if the satellite reception is compromised. In Europe, charts are almost exclusively based on surveys undertaken by, or on behalf of, government bodies. These surveys are then licensed and packaged by third parties such as CMAP, Navionics, Admiralty and others. It's also useful to be able to receive and interpret live boat data, such as speed over the ground, wind direction, AIS targets and radar. Together, these items of hardware can be referred to as a device, but on its own, a device won't function as a chart plotter. It requires software to unite all these components into a functional chart plotter. We used to refer to the software as a program, but nowadays it's more usual to call it an application or just an app. 